Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the Seal Montep run of EV Emerald. Last time, we solved some more Trickmaster challenges and evolved Magnemite into Magneton. This time, we'll be revisiting familiar territory to see what we have access to that we didn't before. Starting with this section north of Rustboro City. There's some trainers up here that we can battle, and a couple of items we can get. Come ashore here. Nope. Now, the only thing that's kind of dicey for me is these are definitely going to involve fighting types. So, uh, yeah. Swap you in real quick. Okay, I know I could knock out the duo right away, but Hariyama's by far the bigger threat. We're gonna take that out first. Or not, because fake out. <clears throat> they call it fake out, but frankly, they should just call it cheap shot. That's what it is. It doesn't even do that much damage, it's just annoying. Ooh. Well then! Didn't see that coming. Uh, hmm. Let's say, I don't think I. No, I don't have the. I don't have a, a spare berry. So. Uh, okay. Yeah, that doesn't happen often. Oh, well, at least it's not Generation One freeze where the condition is permanent unless you get hit by a fire type attack. About to say you better not do that again. Smart ass. And down you go. Don't know if that was necessary, but we take those. And that's the first set of trainers down. We can rebattle this guy later. Let's just paralyze you real quick. Oh, fuck you. You know what, just for that? Here. Say hi to Matang. I know I don't need to use Psychic, but fuck you. And stay down. Yeah, hurts, doesn't it? All right, that's down. And now over here, of course, we have a ninja in behind a fake tree. Of course, he's now blocking the way up to the grass, so uh, we'll have to walk out of the area. 
Lord Axe is that. There's not really a whole lot you can find up there. I think it's just like... Well... I think it's the only place in the game you can find Jigglypuff, for one. No, we are not doing this. Uh-uh. Yeah, get out of here. Ninjas can be useful in a couple different ways. Um, I found that, it, well, in my bug mod type runs, it used to either as a glass cannon with speed and sword dance, or you can use baton pass to pass on the attack and speed boost to something else. Like, say, it's a bug mod type, let's say, Scizor, for example. Scizor can turn into a monster with all those attack and speed boosts. Ah, cry harder, little kid. Anyway, let's go up here. And we get the TM for Focus Punch. Powerful, but the problem is it could be disrupted if you get hit even once. It's only really useful if you have a way to keep the opponent from hitting you. Like, boosting your evasion, lowering their accuracy, putting them to sleep. Oh, right. There's stuff we can get up here, too. I have the Mach Bike. over down here, we find an iron. Boost your defense. I might just sell that. I don't know. The thing is, my Pokemon are tanky enough as it is when it comes to physical attacks, so I don't know if I really need that. Black belt level strength, huh? Hate to tell you this, but as someone who actually has a black belt, that doesn't mean a whole lot. It just means you understand the fundamentals of a given martial arts. To truly master it, you gotta go way beyond that. Most martial arts are, if I can be perfectly honest, maybe only 10% actual combat and 90% philosophy. Or at least when it comes to the Eastern martial arts, like Karate, Taekwondo. Apkido, Judo, things like that. And down you go. And what were these two guarding? A bunch of Kelpsy Berries. So Kelpsy Berries and uh, certain other berries in the beginning in Emerald version they will decrease the effort values you have in a certain stat while boosting the friendship of a given Pokemon. This can be used to either speed up the evolution of certain Pokemon or to remove undesired effort values from a Pokemon you're trying to train. Up to a certain point, anyway. Oh, right. You can also access the grass from up here. And, well... Find Swablu here. I'm pretty sure you can find Jigglypuff. But that's not really that important. We'll just knock this out real quick. Because next up, we are heading down south of Rustboro City towards Super Town. Be right back. Oh, something I forgot to mention. Over here, off to the east, there was a power point up there. I just picked it up off camera. And down here on the beach, there was indeed an antidote somewhere around here ish. But there was also a heart scale somewhere around here. Anyway, let's go for a swim. In fact, let's, uh. 
pop a repel. Just to speed things up a little bit. And here we have the first of what are quite a few water routes in this game. As the reviews of the remakes said, well, a specific one. 7.8 out of 10, too much water. They weren't necessarily wrong. There is indeed a lot of water routes in this game, which, to be fair, that actually kind of gives you a reason to take a grass starter, unlike in most generations, where they're usually the worst choice. In this game, you, well, taking Trico means you have a relatively easy early game, a harder mid game, and then an easy late game. You take Torchic, and you have an easy early game, an easy middle game, and a difficult late game. Or you could take Mudkip and just breeze through the entire game no matter what, because but because Swampert is just broken. There's a reason all the speedrunners always take Mudkip. Yeah, whoops. Oh, there was a gap there. Never mind. There's another repel. Oh, yeah, by the way, Ruin Maniac. As I'd said in an earlier episode, I believe it was episode 15? Was. Um, yeah, the presence of a Ruin Maniac is a hint that there is one of the legendary golems on the route. In this case, it's Regice. We'll swap you out, because, uh, yeah, I'm using electric types. I don't really need to do that, but I'll just show you where the where you would find Reg Ice once you have the ability to get it. It's not that far from here. Hmm, sucks to be you, Sandshrew. That's what we like to see. Pretty sure Swift will... Eh, you know what? Let's use Double Team. I about to say, I'm pretty sure Swift will still miss because he's underground. Eh! Oh, oh, wait, never mind. It's a flying type. It can't be hit anyway. Duh! <laughs> Guess Max isn't the only one that forgets about that. Alrighty, so, you go this way. Take these guys on first. Oh yeah, there's two Rowan Maniacs on this route. And this guy actually kind of hints at the sealed chamber, which is where you need to go to unlock the ability to fight the Reggies. Okay, so... Yeah. you go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's totally why you lost.
And you get a big pearl. You can sell that for quite a bit of money. Let's go around this way. Take on another swimmer here. Hmm. You know, it's a good chance it probably has. Swimming is very good exercise. In fact, I think it's the only exercise that works out every muscle in your body. Yeah, swimming's very good for you. Of course, the downside is you need somewhere that you can actually swim, which, uh, for a lot of people, that isn't really an option. Plus, let's be honest, public pools are nasty. And not just because people piss in them. Oh, don't worry, we all float down here, babe. Okay, so yeah, this is where you need to go to find Regice. Moving on. Now we go around here, and we battle this guy. Item somewhere around here. Heart scale. And so you know, the, the supply of heart scales is not finite. It's just that once you find all the heart scales in the overworld, eventually you have to resort to catching the love disc, which you can only find in Evergrande City with Super Rod. And, well, that's really all love disc is useful for. It is utter garbage as far as the Pokemon for battling goes. A couple more trainers, and we're almost a dude for town. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just did catch you, dude. And now we're going to cut real quick because we're almost coming up the 10 minute mark for this segment. Yep. Gotta love Bandicam. This should be the last trainer that we fight in this particular segment. There's only a couple more things I want to show you guys before uh, we call this an episode. Okay, so as I mentioned only back in episode 5, you get a protein here. Let's use that real quick. Hmm. Okay, we're going to use that on... Uh, the layer on. No more items. And now there's one more thing I can show you guys. As you were. 
And now we're back here in Dufer Town, and this guy shows up. Now you have Surf. You talk to him, and he gives you the TM for Sludge Bomb. The only decent poison type attack in Generation 3 and Generation 2 when it's introduced. Anyway, that's going to be it for this time. Like what you see, comment, subscribe, check out my Rumble page. Next time, we're going to continue our backtracking and explore the abandoned ship. I'll see you all next time.